Hey guys, it's Harpstar and welcome back to another FIFA 13 video and today I'm bringing you guys a second in form review on Didier Yakonen. So the team I used him in is basically a standard Bundesliga team with Felipe Santana at the back. So his on card stats, he has 85 pace, 85 shooting and 73 passing, 85 dribbling and 74 heading, brought for 25,250 coins and he's got a 4 star week for 3 star skill moves. He's a Hanover 96 in the Bundesliga, his nationality is Ivory Coast, he's a striker and I've played him in the 4-3-2-1 formation. So his in-game stats, he has 86 acceleration, 88 agility and 87 balance, 83 jumping, 90 reactions and 87 sprint speed, also 70 strength, he has 64 aggression, 80 attack and positioning and 72 vision. 84 ball control, 86 curve, 89 dribbling, 93 finishing, 94 long shots, 87 penalties, 82 short passing, 90 shot power and 87 volleys. He has a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate and he stands up 5 foot 9. Alright guys, so now we talked about his on card and in game stats, let's go a little bit more in depth about them, right? So he's got 85 pace and sometimes I do see that pace, right? He seems to have that kind of trait thing where he does a two star skill and he seems to have that little bit burst of pace which really helps him out but sometimes he seems quite sluggish sometimes he seems slow his speed is really inconsistent in my opinion for me anyway and it can get a little bit annoying when he can't run past the like of De Rossi so you know it's a bit consistent uh, inconsistent sorry but when his speed is at the top game he is absolutely lethal so he has great dribbling you know and his, that definitely helps him when I'm going on skill runs I go on a fantastic skill run I think it's this clip right here look at this it's a fantastic skill run it just shows that he has great close touch dribbling and sometimes when that speed burst just helps him out so much so his dribbling is really really good his shooting is inconsistent i mean it's decent i mean don't get me wrong he's got a real real powerful shot on him but sometimes his close range of finishing can be a little bit arguable but sometimes you know he can finish a few goals one of the games he got me he got me a hat trick and where in another game he should have got a hat trick but he only got one goal so he's quite inconsistent on that fault his headering is absolutely lethal he's fantastic on knock-ons when you're boosting the ball up to him booting the ball up to him from a goal kick he's absolutely amazing that he can get his head on it almost 10 times out of 10 and his heading you know going up against the defender one and one he out jumps defenders very very easily i think i score a diving header with him which just shows his athleticism and it's just absolutely amazing headering and he's really really good at his head and i definitely recommend that you use him as a target man as much as you can because it definitely will benefit you right so he's also got his passing stats are all right. I mean, I didn't really use him as a passer, but you know, he, he, on his on card stats, his passing's pretty okayish, and he does show you he can do a few good assists sometimes. But you know, when I I don't really use him for passing, in my opinion, I used him in the four three two one formation, which means I had two players overlapping him, and the players I used overlapping him were Scherler and Black Blackout. Wait, wait, let me get this right, Blashikovsky, that's it. So I was using them to overlap him, and you know, when you have those people with those kind of pace, they were doing all the work, and now just sweating the ball to him constantly, because that's what you do in that kind of formation. It's a very very sweaty formation. So it's a high, he has a high attacking work rate, high attacking work rate, and a medium defensive work rate, and that's good. You always need an attacker to have a high attacking work rate. If he doesn't have that, you know, it's pretty much of a letdown. But his medium attacking work rate, it doesn't really affect me too much because of his 80 attacking positioning. He always seems to be there in those vital areas, and I really, really am pleased with him. So his work rates don't affect him at all. He has a four star weak foot I believe and it's really really good he can shoot on both feet with an equal amount and his weak left foot which I believe is weak which I believe is his weak foot is quite lethal you know so is his right right foot and because of that shot power it just helps him so much. He has three star skill moves which for me is enough I'm not a skiller I mostly just use the three star skill combination. So overall, I'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10. He's quite inconsistent, you know. Some games he's really good, some games he's not so good. But when he's really, really good, he's a match winner. And that's why I'm not going to give him anything lower than 8, eight out of 10. But he's just quite inconsistent. But 
I definitely recommend you guys go pick them up. I believe this price is going to drop quite soon. So as I always say from my reviews, go pick them up the week after it comes out. So this Wednesday, go pick them out then. It's priced will probably fall to about 20 to 25 okay? So if you guys don't mind, drop a like and subscribe to our Harpstar. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.